Welcome to beautiful Sedona, Arizona. We're out here today and I'm testing the Canon R5 with the 15-35 to 2.8 lens that LensRentals.com was kind enough to send me out to test today. I'm looking to change over my 1DX to the new mirrorless system and I'm super excited to test it. Let's see what we can come up with. So whenever you're in the market for a new lens or a new camera body or even switching over a whole system, I always recommend renting. I'm thinking about switching over my whole system. So I want to get rid of the 1DX. It's very heavy. I'm not shooting the way I used to shoot anymore. I'm doing way more landscape photography and that's why I want to downsize with weight. But on the other hand, I'm also looking at an investment of about $4,000. Even if I sell my 1DX with all the five lenses that I own and buy just the R5 body with three lenses, the difference would be around $4,000. I really want to be sure that this is the camera that I want, that there is nothing odd about the camera that I don't like. Sometimes it's just little things like a button is on the wrong, you know, in the wrong area. You don't like how, it's, how it feels in your hands. For me, if I'm looking at new gear, you see the, the spec sheets and then you see all the, the interesting new features about the camera but the decision is not made just on paper at least for me and I really want to feel comfortable with a camera I used to photograph a lot of weddings and events and stuff like that so it made sense for me to have a camera like the 1DX I needed the speed, needed to be right there and ready when it was time when it was time for that kiss, that real moment there. Usually when you're photographing a wedding, you have like a little rolly with you, like you don't have to carry around all your gear all the time. You usually have a little baggy that you set down somewhere so you don't have to carry it all the time. As a landscape photographer, I'm carrying my gear all the time. I'm hiking a lot, I'm getting up early in the morning to run up a hill, to photograph a sunrise. I felt like it was time for me to switch over to a lighter setup. And for me, I was shooting uh, different camera systems in the past. I shot Nikon before too, but I was very familiar with the Canon menu and the system and everything. So uh, this, was, this is why I was looking into Canon. I am not you know, saying that it's the best brand ever, that you should only buy Canon. I think there's a lot of brands that are great out there. This is just my personal preference. This is actually the first time that I'm having the R5 with me to shoot photography. I just got it a few days ago, didn't have a chance yet to go out and shoot anything. The only thing that I did so far was just browsing, browsing through the menu, looking where everything is, and just setting up the camera and get it ready for when I go out and shoot. And what I already noticed at the beginning is that I really like how it sits in my hand. It has a, a pretty big uh, grip on the side of the camera. This is also what I'm used to from the 1DX with the big grip on the side so I can hold it in my hand very comfortably if I'm changing locations or just putting it away in the camera bag, taking it back out. I really like that. The menu system was very intu intuitive for me. I already knew where everything was. It wasn't like super complicated to find things. Another thing is that I can use SD cards with this camera. I already have a ton of SD cards from my little M50 that I use as a vlogging camera or I can also use the SD cards that Mike has that he uses for his cameras, so pretty easy. I'm very excited to see how the battery life is of this camera, just because with the One Yaks I'm used to an extremely long battery life. I usually could keep one battery for two days of shooting, so I'm very excited to see how this battery performs. So this video obviously wouldn't be complete without me taking a photo. I have my Gitzo tripod here over this little puddle area, and this is the first time for me that I have a flippy screen. And I love it. It's absolutely amazing. I can uh, have the flippy screen up, still see my composition. I don't have to stand in the water or bend weirdly over my tripod and my camera to see what I'm actually doing. Already loving the flippy screen. So I just took the first photos here with the R5 and I must say I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, it's so silent. The mirrorless is magic. <laughs> Not that it was a big deal in the past, but you know, when you have it, it's nice to have it, it's silence. I also feel like it works better with my tripod. I always felt like 
my tripod was a bit, you know, on the slimmer side for the big and heavy one, the X. So happy that I rented the R5. I haven't made my decision like 100% yet, but I, I'm so happy that I rented it. Also, if you guys want to have 15% off lensrentals.com, there's a link in the description. You can try everything and anything, even Sony equipment. <laughs> You might ask yourself, why did I rent the R5 and not the R6? Because there's obviously a big price difference in the two cameras. So there is a few differences in the two cameras when you look at the spec sheet. And one of them is being the megapixels. The R5 has 45 megapixels, whereas the R6 only has 20. This isn't a big deal for me because I'm uh, used to shooting only with 20.5 megapixels with the 1DX but it's for sure something nice to have, especially if you're thinking about big prints. Another very important point for me was the weather sealing. So the R6 is uh, only water resistant, whereas the R5 is weatherproof actually, which is extremely important for me as a landscape photographer because I'm out in the elements all the time. I'm out in rain, snow, water, you name it. Thank you again to lensrentals.com. He just cost me $4,000. <laughs> I think the flippy screen made it for me. It's actually, super super handy to have and then also a few of the uh, more user-friendly settings I guess think I need the upgrade so if you guys ever want to try out a lens or a camera system before you buy go to lenshandles.com and you'll get 15% off if you're using the code Perea15 so thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one hopefully with Mike again huh he was not uh, in the video a lot at least not for you I could see him all the time but anyways see you in the next one Point eight lens <laughs> to lens to lens your gear first it has a weather seal body and whereas the art you want to print in like, if you want to print in bigger sizes you want to move no no you're good you look very uncomfortable <laughs> good mm -hmm. okay wait a minute wait a minute If you're using the code, if you're using the link, I'm out of breath. If you're using the link in the description.